I'd like to do one more IQ problem. I'd like to find this one. What's the probability that we randomly pick an adult American and that person's IQ is between 90 and 110? Another way of stating the same question is, what percent of all Americans have an IQ between 90 and 110? Once again, I'm going to draw my picture, my sketch. It only takes a couple seconds to do it, and I make sure that I understand it. My, my sketches aren't beautiful. You'll still get the idea. This is mu equals 100. Put a couple standard deviations on either side since they're going down to 90. This is 85 since the standard deviation is 15. 15 away is 85, and to the right is 115. So here, if I'm talking about IQ between 90 and 110, my area is not to the right or to the left. It's going to be in the middle. My 90 is a boundary line on the left, about there. There's about 90. And my 110 is a boundary line about right there. So I'm talking about the area between these two boundary lines of this area right in here. What percent of all the area under the curve does this account for? Well, whatever that is will be the exact same answer to my question here. Okay? Again, it's going to be a two-step process, but we've got to realize I've got two boundary lines to deal with. So I've got to convert both of these boundary lines to z-scores. So first of all, I want the z-score for 115. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, for 110. So that's going to be 110 minus 100 all over 15. And my calculator says, I could probably do this in my head faster than my calculator, but let me do it. Uh, 110 minus 100, of course, is 10, divided by 15, of course, is 2 thirds, which is 0.67, a positive number. My z-score for my boundary on the left for 90 is going to be 90 minus 100, the mean, divided by the standard deviation, and that's going to be negative 0.67, or negative 2 thirds. All right. What do I do with these? Well, if you've seen a previous video, you may recall that we said we can find the area under these two, under the curve between these two boundary lines by finding the area to the left of 110 and subtracting the area that's to the left of 90. Once again, take the total area left of 110 subtract the area left of 90, and what will remain will be the area between these two. So I need to convert this 0.67 to a probability or a percent, whichever way you want to think of it, and that's going to be on my positive side. 0.67 on the positive side, which I had already, is and again, the whole number part is zero. So that's up here in here. So here is 0 0.6. And then bringing it over to the seventh column will be right here. And you can double check with me, but I'm getting 0 0.7486. 0 0.7486. 0 0.7486. If I look up negative 0.67, that's again starting with a zero. Find 0 0.6 and bring it over to the eighth column where we're talking about a hundredth place of seven. I get 0 0.2514. 0 0.2514. We're saying approximately 75% of the area is left of the, of the 110, and approximately 25% of the area is to the left of 90. If I subtract these two, it'll tell me what percent of the area is between them. So when I subtract, I get 0.4972, which is pretty close to 50%. So approximately 
49.72, or approximately 50% of all the U.S. adult population has an IQ that's between 90 and 110. What about the other 50%? Well, half of those, approximately 25%, are less than 90, and the other 25% are greater than 110. 